least. A, a lot of people were excited about this leading up to this morning's event. Now the forecast DJ was calling for mostly cloudy skies, but we were lucky enough to get a chance to see it and the skies cleared out just in time during the peak of the partial eclipse. It may not have been the crowds many of us saw during the eclipse of 2017 in Oregon when we saw a total eclipse, but people were still excited to get a chance to witness Monday's partial eclipse. This just just showed the people who love to watch the eclipse. Okay, so a lot of them remember 2017. They're coming back here again. Jim Todd is the director of space science at OMSI. He says even though we didn't get a chance to see totality this time around, the experience actually lasted a little bit longer. But the moon is closer, okay? And so compared to 2017, but further away, that's why it's only two minutes. This one is gonna be four minutes because it's closer than it was in 2017. If people weren't gathering outside of OMSI, they were inside the planetarium watching the live NASA feed. I mean, I wish I was in the flight path, but again, I think any chance to see any part of it is pretty magical. I don't know what this will look like. In Portland, the partial eclipse started just after 1030 Monday morning, and it reached its peak almost an hour later at 1125. And during that time, the weather shifted in everyone's favor as we got a chance to see the moon slowly start to cover part of the sun. It's great that people come out and, it, you know, it's a it's just a reason to think about things and uh, things that are bigger than us. There were lines of people trying to catch a glimpse from high powered telescopes, while others brought their own setup like Cole Field, who came ready with a smartphone-based telescope. He was able to snap these photos with just his cell phone. Um, I'm an airline pilot, and I, so I get to look out the window, look at stars and stuff like that, and it's always just kind of fascinated me looking at, looking at those kinds of things. For Brick Kupinoff, who experienced the total eclipse in 2017, admits it's not the same this time around, but she was glad her kids still got a chance to catch a glimpse. I was telling our oldest, you know, the next time he'll get to experience this, he'll be 24. So it's, it's pretty amazing. Of at least part of an eclipse. Now this time around, the moon only covered 23% of the sun's diameter, but it's still pretty incredible to see. And again, it was right around that time of the peak of the eclipse that we started seeing some clouds and some light rain move in. Felt a few raindrops out there outside OMSI earlier this morning, but I think a lot of us got very lucky earlier today to catch a glimpse of it. Deidre, back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Joe. So